Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and this is From the Depths. We are here back again and I'm just sitting here on uh, one of the Navarone bases. I'm just having a look around and seeing what's going to be a uh, plan to upgrade these in the near future. Uh, but at the moment in the campaign we are going to be moving on. So we'll go to the map and just see what the situation is and where I've got to um, whilst I've uh, been away. Um, unfortunately, didn't get many videos done uh, due to work. That's always got in the way. I've got a new PC which gave me a, a few problems. Uh, plenty of crashes and just playing up and needed a few reinstalls and the water cooling wasn't working, etc. But that's all done now. So we've got a nice new PC. Uh, hopefully, with the latest patches as well, it's given a very good performance. So that's all good for the videos and the, ga and the game. So but let's go and have a look what's happened in the map. So the... Lightning Hoods area. I've cleaned out all of the various areas. Took quite a while. Some of those uh, battles were rather long and uh, they did sort of highlight a few potential issues but uh, nothing major, just some little bits that need to be worked on on some of the ships. So that's all now cleared up and I have now moved all of our forces up to go up against the... Um, Twin Guard. So the aim is to go up against Twin Guard now. Although originally we were looking at the Grey Talons, um, I had a look through what was available and what was a good idea, and I decided that the next logical choice is actually the Twin Guard. Um, also, I think our fleets will need quite a bit of reworking before they can go against the Twin Guard and the Scarlet Dawn, and I think the, the sorry, the Grey Talons. The Grey Talons um, and the Scarlet Dawn, they're similar, lots of flying ships, and I think our vessels will need a bit of work on, on there. In the meantime, to stop the uh, Grey Talons expanding, I've put a few little Navarone bases around some of the area, just to stop them thinking about wanting to uh, move into our areas, to ensure that um, they stay nicely corralled up shall we say so we'll be looking at the twin guard so let's go and have a look at some of the forces um, that we have arrayed ready to do a bit of battle um, and see where we can go to so back in one second and welcome back and we're gonna bring in hopefully the turtle fleet against this force here now before we can actually attack them what we need to do is go into the diplomacy so we're bringing it into here press f1 and we can see all of the other in the first page the faction info all the other areas where we have reduced them to a territory size of zero and uh, we can see that the twin guard here is at 100 percent so we go to diplomacy and we're gonna go into are the, the twin guard here with ourselves and we're going to declare war so that is going to make them not like us as you can see and we'll possibly get some raids now just to ensure we don't get any problem we're going to bribe the uh great talons with some crystal just to there we go just to make sure that they don't bother us in any way so what we can now do is bring our turtle fleet which is a good all-round fleet got a little bit of everything in there and we can see how they will do against this twin guard square here now i have had some crashes going into this is why it's a there was a cut in here um i have crashed a few times in the, this battle so um hopefully this time it will go without any problems and we'll see um I may change it a little bit. I have been upping the block count for the battles, and I think I'll just keep it a little lower on this particular time, just in case that was causing some of the problems. So see you when the battle is ready. And the enemy force is now making its way. We can see what sort of forces we're against. And let's have a look. We've got some aircraft, which are Hala. I don't know what the Halas are. The... J Jibachi, Bachi, that's an interesting one. Pixie, uh, Marksman, D Dawn, Desolation, Messiah, Mesher, 
Mesher. So these are all new vehicles. Haven't seen these ones, so hopefully they're not one of the ones that caused the problem. Let's we'll prepare the battle. Now I had been increasing the, the block counts, but I'm going to go back down to a 20k because it was I was getting some crashes just in case it was something to do with the those. So we'll bring in let's see the battle cruiser is our standard go-to ship in this particular environment. Um, we'll bring in a missile arty, and I think we'll bring in a destroyer and maybe some turtles. We'll see how that sort of uh, system works we'll be bringing that in we won't need the submarine i don't think so let's see after that what shall we bring in some uh, a missile destroyer in case we've got any iaa required more rt oh yeah let's bring in one of these here and a cruiser we'll put a cruiser about there to ready to come in so okay that's 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 a good enough design at this moment so we're going to get a few ships coming in the rt at long range doing laser so let's see how this battle goes well first of all we're going to make sure i'm in the battle cruiser ready there we go so ready begin right they're all in fairly quick now let's um see how this i'll come off the weapons first of all all seems to be Come in quite nicely. Performance is good. Uh, Glue interface off. We've taken out something already. Well, there's some, he oh, some missiles coming in there. Looks like their 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 vehicles. Nice helicopter. Nice helicopters. Right, I'm gonna put the interface on so I can use the Q button. So this here is a Hela. So Hela is like a helicopter. It's like a sort of thing although it seems to have gone straight into the into the water and these are let's try and do that again the Japachi oh yeah okay Apache Japachi I, I, I get it I get it unfortunately looks like they're susceptible to missile fire somewhat which is lucky Although they have got healing, so they could theoretically heal. Oh, that's a uh, that's from the uh, artillery. Yes, the artillery did uh, did some fair bit of damage there. We can see the lasers coming in from the uh, penguin and the apa coming in quite nicely. While well, they they're still just trying to finish off the last bits of it. Just want to change one thing. I want to ignore salvage. There's something here. Yeah. That, that shouldn't be attacking cell. We should, should ignore it. Otherwise, it was a uh, move over in a bit better. Let's let that go through now. So, they're coming in against this one here. The, the missile guided. Where are they going? I have no idea where those missiles went. Hey ho. So... Oh, he's AI dead, so the, the, the lasers are now concentrating on this. What have we got here? What is this? Is this something like a... S Eternal? Hmm, okay. And it looks like it's a... Basically, it's a, a resource system, but it's actually spawning in... What's it spawning in? It's, it's in spawning an infinity. So it's a spawner craft. So we're gonna... If it keeps on replicating those, we're gonna have to make sure that it gets... A, interesting rotating guns on the back if it faces in the right way we've got a sort of rotating gun system there and what have we got here a missile firing scorn well our laser system is concentrating on these two at the moment so our, til our artillery should, would be will be coming in here and our battle cruiser is getting some shots in they are healing each other so and they've got a lot, that's a lot of healing happening there. So we're going to need some good missile shots in here to be able to take these uh, ships out. So hopefully our artillery will be firing soon. Because all the damage we're doing is just getting healed as quickly as it is done. And the missiles, I don't know why these missiles are just going up. Possibly... Yeah, I don't know. Possibly they've got damaged a little bit on the top here. Mm, 
Hmm. But we've got um, the artillery missiles are now coming in quite nicely. They've... Oh, big explosion. There's a two damaged. Excellent. That took out what he was doing. So we now need to take out this ship as well, which was the one... He's got... Ah, see, he's got smoke gone up. Because the smoke's gone up, although the missiles are carrying on their trajectory... But the, sm the smoke will be blocking the laser-guided missiles for the moment. Although they're coming in from the opposite side. And hopefully an another barrage will work against him. So the laser is coming in now. Let's see, what have we got down? Is this a pursuit? Turtle. Turtle? Oh, Turtle's got taken out. Yeah, Turtle's are outmatched in in this particular thing. They've got a little bit of damage in, which is not, not bad. But they're not quite standing up to uh, the uh, the enemy. Is this the... Uh, is that just got taken out? That's the Eternal, isn't it? Oh, no, here's the one that was... Um, created the Eternal. And he just got taken out by the artillery missiles. There's a second set coming in just to finish off the job. Excellent. That's another one gone. So... That was a little... I, this, it's using the same tactic, you know, replicating crafting. Now this is, I believe, is a marksman. Very much looks like a mech warrior. Um, it's quite nice if they ever... A marksman, yeah, marksman torso. Very good with it, sort of like just on the top. It's, I think this is like a sub vehicle that's docked, so it can heal it at the same time, or just blown off its its arms. But he's still farming some missiles. The LRMs, or maybe they're the medium range missiles from from the torso, are firing. But we have cannon fire coming in quite nicely, and then the artillery missiles. Uh, yes, the uh, missiles gave him a significant interface off. He can't have interface on for, for doing pictures. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, then this is he's got a couple of little sub vehicles. Let's see what this sub vehicle is. So the sub vehicle is a Dawn drone. Okay. What's he firing? He's firing a little missile, and this one is... What is this? He is a... And that's the Dawn and the Dawn drone. Now, I need to have a look at these APA, because why are they concentrating on the smallest ship rather than the biggest ship? That's a little annoying as such. I would expect it to be the other way round. Maybe there's something needs to change. I'm just going to check on these here back in a second. And welcome back. And ooh, our battle cruiser has taken a bit of a pacing at the moment. Um, I was just adjusting the other ships, and it seems like our battle cruiser has just been taking a steady beating from somewhere, uh, and is in, is now having to be repaired quite heavily, uh, down to eighty-five percent. But he is repairing himself, and our our guy is uh, on there. Our scuttlebutt is on there, but obviously he's not firing, so it's down to the other ships whilst we are waiting. So let's have a look what else is out there. We've got our destroyer, by the looks of it, is coming in quite nicely. He is attacking some of the enemy. So we have had a new ship come in. What have we got here? Looks like he's got some cannons. The Desolation. That was one of their main ships, I think. Um, I did adjust the the Apo and the Laser Penguin just to make them concentrate a little bit more on the larger ships. The, hopefully that will stop them jumping around on the ships quite so much. Um, we'll see if that works. Obviously there's only one at the moment for them to concentrate on. Uh, but yeah, I think either this or one of the others. I think one of the missile firing ships, they did a, a big number on the um, battle cruiser with a load of missiles and just hit something internally, which uh, did it a fair bit of damage. 
Just one of those little critical hit type of jobs, unfortunately. Oh, we took his turret. See, he's, he's just suffered from the same. Now, that may have been... Oh, could have been any the turret is near the top on that one. May have just got the block that was attached to the turret top, I guess. And I say I did, I'm, I'm feeling turrets are more susceptible. Um, one of the ones I'm going to be rebuilding is the Gustav, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Um, okay, so that one looks okay, and I think that might be the last of the ships on there, which is good. So we took a fair bit of damage on there. Um, interesting use of by the enemy of replicating ships and repairing ships similar to like we do with the carrier fleet um, and I've seen it they have got a couple of other ones that do it slightly more and if you don't take them out they they will over they'll basically zerg you with sheer numbers which is quite interesting um, uh, although whenever they were in the game they did seem to cause me to crash so I'll keep an eye out for that one but this one, hopefully, uh, we, we have got... No, we've got a couple more ships to come in. So let's see. This wasn't obviously the last of their ships. Let's see what else they are bringing in. Oh. What is this? Ooh. This is a little interesting. The Mesher. Yes, that looks... Um, as I say, very Mech Warrior-ish. Um, obviously, lasers on the top, I'm guessing. And in these arms here. And he has got a LAM system, so that's defending him against a lot of these missiles coming in. And he is repairing himself. So, this is going to be an interesting little one. We really need the, the cannon fire from our ship. So I can see some, some cannon fire coming in from summit down here. I don't know what this is. That's a destroyer. Looks like he is trying to fire at least a little bit up at, up at him. Oh, we have got enough missiles coming in from one of our ships. Looks like... Ah, oh, that's an interesting concept. So it's tipped the laser system up so that it can fire. Maybe the other one is just full of items. Yep, yep, just items used for in the ship. And this one's got its own separate... It's just a laser optics and etc. Yeah, that's interesting. Unless we then transfers it through the joint on the turret for that. But uh, we've done enough damage quick enough. Interface off. Hopefully, to take it out of out of the business. A little bit too much moving around there. Sorry about that. I'm just intrigued by this design. It's very nice. That I like it. You can see that laser tipping up again. But not firing now. And it's got missiles coming in from every direction. And the lower AI is dead. He's tipping over. I think that would be it for him. The measure is no more. We have the measure of your... Okay, yes. I, I, I'll, I'll, I always say I'll give up on the jokes. I never do. Right, so we do have one more thing to come in. Ooh, laser beams finally. Some constant lasers going against us. Bit last minute. But obviously it's got enough power left. I don't know why they didn't fire beforehand. Something has obviously changed. And it wasn't getting a targeting for some reason. But it was a bit late, sir. Sorry, sir, you were a little bit late with that. For now, you are being bombarded by the missiles. Excellent. Excellent. Everyone's getting a little involved here, even the destroyers getting in nice and close to give a, a little bit of extra damage. He's taking the damage. He is he's sustained by repairs, so they're oh they're because they're repairing each other. 
just keeping them enough. So we've got to get a hit something vital that's not going to get repaired. Come on, come on. Need a big artillery barrage. That's what we need. Where's the big arty? Ah, oh, now it's saying two damage. This one's showing two damage. So that once that disintegrates, it will stop repairing this one, in theory. Yes, that one's disintegrating, so this one will now be the target for everybody. And it's AI dead. There we go, because it stopped being repaired by the second unit. Um, I, I use this idea myself in, in a lot of the ships, you know, repairing each other. So I'm not in the moment at the AI using the same tactic of which I do myself. Because it makes sense. And what have we got coming here? This is a... Is that a sneak? Or is it something else? The sneak is the um, the very... No. No. Missed it. It might be a sneak. Ah. Uh, it's... It's... Erratic. The sneak is the um, very erratically moving vehicle. Oh, the pixie. Uh, so it's also a little bit... Oh, we got it eventually. It's surprising it was last. Um, the sneak is, a, is is like the squirrel. A very erratic moving um, aircraft. I, we haven't seen one of those yet, but it is one of those on my list of ones I hate meeting. Okay, that battle is finished. Finally. Now we've got one of our turtles was destroyed, so what we'll do is we'll tell that one to repair. We're going to pull everything else out of the battle. And then we go through each of them and just hit the repair button. And then what we should see, because we're hitting it, we see the, all the repair cycles going into each of the craft in turn. Repair you and repair you. Thank you very much. So you're all being repaired. So, okay, that was a nice little battle as a starting point for our troops. And what it's shown is they've they've got lots of little ships and some um, very nice. They do use lasers and also quite a few missiles. So I need to look at our missile interceptors do not seem to be working the same since the latest patch. They're just not as effective, nowhere near as effective as they used to be. So I um, might have to look into that or find a way around it. Um, some other little changes I'm going to be doing. I'd mostly said I'd, I'd put these Navarone bases in various places to hold back forces. And one thing I want to look at over here is redesigning the Navarone base to be a long range um, support vessel. So that within in squares outside of the you know, a couple of circles away. It can join a battle and send in long-range fire. So we might be looking at that. Also, as we saw with the enemy and my own ship, the, the air Gustav is not getting much use because the turret keeps on getting blown off of it. Um, and, it, you know, the, the turret point goes and the whole of that big eight-barreled gun just drops away and wastes all those resources. So I'm going to be looking at rebuilding the air gustav as well to be a multiple multiple turreted um, vessel rather than the single turret that it has at the moment um, other changes we will try the aquanautic fleet see how it does against the uh, twin guard we've got a very large 833 which will be putting the atlantis against once it moves into the area um, and that will be the changes for now. So, okay, this is a quick little test with the new machine. We may look at some larger battles and larger uh, block count battles um, in the near future if the performance stays well and we don't get any crashing issues in the next few battles. But otherwise, please leave any comments below um, of any other changes that we not just that are going to be happening soon or you'd like to see. Um, obviously hit that like button just to make sure that I um, know people are watching. But otherwise, it's glad to be good to be back and I'll try to get a few uh, videos for this Twin Guard out in fairly short order. Uh, just do a sort of a bit of a catch up. Um, so until next time, keep playing, keep building and have fun.